In this video, let's talk about how to handle finger touch. Okay. <clears throat> Luckily, mm, Xcode or the Swift, right, or iOS platform provide a handy, um, oh, a bunch of handy functions to report our finger uh, locations. So, uh, one of them is touch begin. Touch begin here. So whenever we touch the screen, right, there's the platform will call this function and uh, provide the touch information inside this this parameters or arguments. So it it supports multiple touch. So the touches include, for example, three fingers. Then there are three touches inside here. Each one with its own uh, detailed information. So that because we just use one finger, right? So let's get out the get the uh, first finger out here. So let first equals touches dot first first yeah here so you see the type is ui touch question mark it means there might be uh, it might be nil empty but based on our ex experience when whenever the system calls this function it always provides at least one uh finger touch with the detailed information so it will never be nil so it's safe to put the exclamation mark here remember this is not always true okay but in this case here it's safe to put the exclamation mark here because it's guaranteed in real life it's guaranteed non-nil okay so this means the first touch now that's get its location so finger location equals the first dot location in view which view ourself so self self means we are in we are inside right an object of broad view so self now let's print out what this is finger location so run it and the touch so let's touch this corner here near so it should be close to zero zero right zero comma zero yeah very small number so here it should be close to our origin x and origin y but uh so let's see 75 yeah uh, what about this one so x should be large and the y should be small right yes you see 700 something and uh, 16 what about this one here x should be very small and the y will be very large yes so it works now we can use this information right to detect the world we touched and maybe we can pick up a piece then move it to the other location okay now let's try to figure out which well we touched there's a little uh, mathematics to do here so if we touch the let's let's focus on a, a horizontal um, case okay so don't worry about the vertical thing say if we touch here, we know it's not inside any column, right? If we touch the, between this edge and this edge, it should be our first column, column zero, column two, right? And here, between this and that edge, it should be column zero, one, two, right? close that okay so how can we get 
the index of column, right? Based on our finger location. So the formula will be the location, right? Minus this one divided by cell side, right? The width of each each column. Let's give it a try. So let's say um, let's give it a name like from column. Okay. So we'll uh, because that's our uh, touch touches begin uh, function. So we'll mm, we'll drag something from here. So that from column it should be integer right okay that's don't worry about that for now let's use cg float for now okay so we'll use right uh, finger location minus origin x and uh, divided by divided by cell side. Let's see if it works or not. Print from column. Run it. Oh, what is that? Cannot convert CG point. Yeah. Oh, the data type of this guy you see, let's check, is CG point. Very good. So here should be Finger location dot x, right? Run it. Now let's touch it here in this column. Negative zero point four something, and touch here. A little bit uh, above zero, and here a little bit smaller than one and here one point something to one point nine something yes so if we drop the decimal part here that'll be exactly what we need how easy we can cast this one we to integer and the decimal number will be dropped automatically Now let's test again. Run it. Try it again here. Zero. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So zero, one, two, three. Hmm? Zero. One, two, three, four. Cool. So, what about this one? Should be seven. Yeah. Now it works. So we can do the same thing for our. Row right from row equals here. Here will be y, and uh, this one will be origin y. Now let's print out both of them. Let's use this syntax right backslash parentheses will re report the value of that thing. Okay, let's print out it like in the uh, standard format right x a colon comma and uh, y or row 
So let's test it. So if we click inside this block, right, we sh it, sh it should report one and two, right? Colon one and uh, row two, right? Zero, one, two, and zero, one. Let's, let's try it. So in the middle, oh, one, two, yes. So let me fix this. And now we don't need this printing. It's annoying. Okay, run again. Again, here in the middle, one, two. Near the top left, one, two. Top right, one, two, correct. Here, bottom left, one, two, very good. Bottom right, one, is it one, two? Oh, okay, yeah. So if you if you want to clear right this one you can click this garbage icon clear console okay let's try it again let's pick another one the last one here bottom right one so let's click here it should print out the seven seven right seven comma seven yes here yes very accurate here yeah and here it works now. We know uh, when touch began where our finger is. That handle touch ended. Okay. Luckily, oh, let's add something here. So from column, from from let's do it this way from okay now let's override the touches and it here and we'll do the same thing here to report out where our finger ended right so first first location from now this is two right Let's use a different name. So two, colon, two row. Yeah, everything else is same. Two, two colon. Okay, now let's run it. So let's drag, right? Press and move and uh, lift our finger to see so let's try from this block to here okay press drag and release yes from zero zero to two zero okay let's try from two zero to here okay here will be zero one two zero one two three let's go to two three okay Yes, from two zero to two three. So with that information, we should be able to uh, drag a piece. We'll continue in our next video. Bye bye.